The following is a video presentation of your operator's manual designed to make the operation of your K60 SP machine easy and efficient. Before assembling or operating the K60, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the K60. Read all warning labels on the machine. For your convenience, it is divided into the following segments so you can quickly find what you need. Machine setup, machine operation, maintenance. To get started, place the machine in this orientation within two feet of the line opening. This is the front of the machine. Do not plug in the power cord until instructed. Remove the pin key from the clutch handle. This provides convenient storage for holding the pin key and locking the clutch handle in place. Attach the rear guide hose by lifting up the locking pin and sliding the guide hose into the jaw housing adjustment knob. Insert the first cable into the front of the machine, female end first, and push through the guide hose until approximately one foot remains out of the front of the machine. Warning, never couple more than one cable at a time prior to inserting the cable into the guide hose. If the 7 8 inch cable does not go through the machine, adjust the jaw set as required. The K60 SP has a jaw set adjustment which allows the machine to accept 5 8 inch and 7 8 inch diameter cable. Select and install the proper tool to the end of the cable. Make sure it is attached securely. Note, a good rule of thumb is to use a tool at least one inch smaller than the drain to be cleaned. The style of the tool is determined by the nature of the job and is left up to the operator. A good starting tool is the T107 cutter. The T107 spade cutter is used to open the drain initially and establish flow. The T102 funnel auger is used to break up the remains of stoppages and retrieve large soft objects. The T150 shark tooth cutter is used in cleaning pipes of general debris clinging to pipe walls. For a 7 8 inch cable, remove the rear guide hose from the jaw housing adjustment knob. Loosen the adjustment knob set screw with a 1 quarter inch hex key. Turn the adjustment knob counterclockwise when viewed from the rear, approximately two turns until the cable will slide through the machine. With the cable through the jaw set, press the clutch handle down to make sure the jaw set engages the cable. If not, turn the knob clockwise until there is engagement. If necessary, turn the adjustment knob in the direction required so that the clutch handle engages the cable at the position desired by the operator. Tighten the set screw and reattach the rear guide hose. Select and install the proper tool to the end of the cable. Make sure it is attached securely. For 5 8 inch cable, remove the rear guide hose from the jaw housing adjustment knob. Loosen the set screw with a 1 quarter inch hex key. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise until the cable is engaged by the jaw set when the clutch handle is pressed. If necessary, turn the adjustment knob in the direction required so that the clutch handle engages the cable at the position desired by the operator. Tighten the set screw and reattach the rear guide hose. The tools for the 5 8 inch cable have a different coupling size than the 7 8 inch cable. You should always use a mitt when operating the K60SP. Always wear eye protection. It is very important that you know the approximate distance from the inlet to the main sewer or septic tank. Overrunning the cable can cause cables to knot up and prevent their return. Make sure the machine is in the off position. To prevent serious injury, proper setup of the machine and work area is required. Check work area for adequate lighting, grounded electrical outlet, clear path to the electrical outlet, dry place for the machine and operator. Do not use this machine in standing water or near flammable liquids, vapors, or dust that may ignite. Plug the power cord into a properly grounded receptacle. Keep all electrical connections dry and off the ground. Do not touch the plug with wet hands. Test the GFCI for proper operation before using the machine. Insert the cable into the line. If going through a P-trap, push the cable by hand as far as it will go. Pull enough extra cable through the machine to form almost a half circle between the machine and the line opening. Hold the cable loosely and turn on the machine in the forward position. The motor will start, but the cable will remain free and idle. With your mitted hand on the cable, push down on the clutch with the opposite hand to engage the cable. Push down on top of the cable loop with a definite snap to advance the cable. Please note that a slow or gradual engaging of the clutch handle causes excess wear of the jaw set. 
As soon as the excess cable has gone into the line, release the clutch handle and pull 6 to 10 inches of cable out of the machine. Repeat engaging the clutch until the obstruction is reached. Take caution when the obstruction is reached. Advance the cable inches at a time. At this point, progress depends upon the sharpness of the tool and nature of the obstruction. Continue to advance the cable until it is completely through the obstruction. After reaching the end of each cable section, turn the machine off. Secure the cable by looping it in the line. This procedure is especially useful when cleaning a line with a lot of fall or in a multi-story building. With the cable secured in the line, insert another section of cable in through the front of the machine, female end first, until approximately one foot of cable remains out the front of the machine. Attach the cable to the cable in the line and resume operation. To remove cable from the line, leave the machine in forward and pull the cable out section by section, engaging the clutch while retrieving each portion of the cable. Removing roots and debris from the cable as it comes out of the drain helps maintain your equipment and keeps the work area clean. When disconnecting sections, remember to turn the unit off and secure the cable in the line. On occasion, the line may clear while your cable is still lying free in the line and could pull your cable down the drain if it is not looped properly. Once a section of cable is removed, insert the secured cable in through the front of the machine and continue removing sections until the tool on the last section of cable is just inside the inlet. Note, it's a good idea to connect your cables before placing them in your cable carrier. You will find it easier to keep your cable organized. Warning: Never retract the tool from an inlet while the cable is rotating. When the job is completed, thoroughly flush and drain cables, couplings, and tools with water. Chemicals and rust are your cable's worst enemy. When the K60SP is not in use, the clutch handle should be in its locked or down position. Operating the machine in reverse can cause damage and should only be used to back the tool out of an obstruction. If the tool should get hung up in an obstruction, release the clutch handle immediately and turn the machine off. After the motor comes to a complete stop, put the machine in reverse. Engage the clutch handle only until the tool is free of the obstruction. Once the tool is free, release the clutch handle immediately and turn the machine off. Put the machine in forward and continue normal operation.